If you want to know how to use your Sony a7S III or any Sony camera as a webcam without capture card, then stay tuned. Hey what's up guys Faisal here and welcome back to another video on our channel Billion Dollar iTech. In today's video I'll show you guys how you can use your Sony a7S III as a webcam without any capture card. So stay tuned and let's get started. First of all if you want this particular setup to work all you need to do is go to the camera menu over here once you are in the camera menu open the green menu which is the network from the bottom second and then the first transfer and remote go over to pc remote make sure the pc remote is turned on if the pc remote is not turned on this setup will not work once you have turned on the PC remote from the menu, the next step is to mount the camera on a sturdy tripod. It's very important, otherwise the Sony a7 III is a heavy camera. So make sure you use a sturdy tripod. Once you have mounted the camera on steady tripod, the next step is to connect it with the USB Type-C cable. One end of the USB Type-C cable will be connected to the camera and the second end will be connected to the laptop or computer. In my case, I'm using MacBook Pro, so I'm using an adapter. So I've connected the cable, the other end to this particular adapter over here. Now we will move to the software, what software we need for this camera to work as a webcam. So let's jump into my computer. Open Google Chrome or any browser and search for Sony Edge Imaging. Once you search it, open the first link. Over here, you guys can see you can download this particular software for Windows and Mac version. Since I'm using Mac, I will download it for Mac version. If you're using Windows, then go ahead and download the Windows version. The software is quite light and easy for installation. Since I've already installed the software, so I'm not going to install it. I'll show you guys after the installation how the software looks like. Alright guys, once you have downloaded and installed the Image Edge Desktop on your computer, once you open the software, this is what you will see. For this setup to work as a webcam, all you need is the remote. So start the remote software within the Image Edge Desktop. If your camera is connected properly, then you will see your camera will appear over here. If it's not connected or the remote PC is not turned on, you won't see any listing over here. So make sure your camera is connected properly as it shows connection as a USB. Double click to open it. All right, so this is where we can see our remote app is working. Make it full screen. The next software you will need a OBS, which is the open source for you to project or start your virtual webcam. Head over to Google Chrome again, search for OBS or download OBS, open the first link over here. Depending on your operating system, you can download the specific OBS version. Since I'm using Mac again, so I click on the Mac and you can download the installer from here. If you're using Windows, head over to Windows and download the installer since i've already downloaded and installed the obs let me launch the obs now over here let me cancel this one all right so all right guys this is obs this is what i have i was testing before so let me disable everything and remove everything from the list all right so once you have launched your obs you will see as it is like i'm seeing at the moment first thing you will need to do is head over to the sources section over here and click on this plus icon or add all right next we will select window capture which is this option select this option and name it sony or anything anything you can you wish to Sony webcam let me name it Sony webcam and click OK all right now what we need to do is we need to select a window which we want to capture on our screen right so in our case what we want to do is we want to capture this remote section so we want this to be appear on OBS so we can start our virtual webcam 
let's switch back to OBS and look for remote over here all right select the remote all right so we can see that our remote is been has been selected as a window all right now this doesn't look like a full webcam camera because we don't want all this extra sides over here so what we need to do is press and press the option button on your keyboard and crop it let's crop this one crop from top and crop from bottom as well all right once you are done this right click and come to the transform and click on fit to screen wonderful now what we can do is over here as you guys can see there's an option called start virtual camera so I'll click on start virtual camera our virtual camera has been started so now we are perfectly ready to use our Sony webcam I mean our Sony camera as a webcam without any capture card all right next head over to zoom or Microsoft teams any app you use I'll open zoom all right let me start a new meeting wonderful so let's just close this screen make sure you're using OBS virtual camera in the settings all right let me go to video setting and just disable the background nothing wonderful let's go to full screen all right guys now you can see that we are using our sony a7s3 as a webcam which is mounted right over here without any capture card and it's working perfectly fine in the zoom meeting and i believe it will be the same thing for the microsoft teams or any other application all right guys i hope you guys found this video informative if so let us know in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel i'm your host vessel talk to you next one peace